Yo, bro. Sometimes, sometimes, the crumbs lead to the cookie. So it's important that you follow the crumbs, girls. It's important that you follow the crumbs. And if you know, you know. She listened to us last week. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Welcome back to the Shootout Podcast, episode 134, with me and the bro, 808 Kicks HL. Please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to us, let's have a conversation, let's break it down like we always do. Please do go follow, please do follow the bro, 808 Kicks underscore ATL. We need to get yeah. the bro at 1K, and also please do follow Love Kick Customs. Thank you for the love and support that you guys are showing us, and bro, what are we here to do this week, bro? Same thing we do every week, bro. <laughs> Try and take over the world. Y'all already know. And look, don't worry about that 1K stuff because they somebody hating out there. I know it. I'm, uh, we ain't going to talk about it. Let's part. No, man. no, no. Uh, let's part, bro. <laughs> um, but but uh, definitely, definitely. We, we will allude to the intro in a bit because sometimes you got to follow the cookie crumbling to get to the source, guys. And that's very important when we talk about le- manifesting. That's It's not manifesting. It's predicting with calculated, educated guesses. That's all I'm going to say. But, bro, how's your week been this week, bro? <laughs> Man, it's been crazy, bro. We just, we just experienced... Uh, Hurricane Helene Hurricane. came through. <laughs> I saw, bruh, man. It, it from Wednesday. It's been raining. It just stopped raining yesterday. Mm-hmm. No, actually, Friday. It stopped raining Friday. Friday night. It stopped. Finally, stopped raining from Wednesday morning, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it wasn't. It wasn't no. It wasn't no bad lightning situations. Thank God. Uh, but it was a lot of wind and a lot of water and some flooding and some trees falling and power, a lot of power outages. and mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it was nasty. Yeah, I ho- hope everybody's safe and hope everybody's okay out there, especially with the uh, hurricane coming through. Um, the only time I actually, well, we, I, the only time we actually got hurricane here, bro, was when um, we, like in the 1980s, when we, we had trees uprooted where we used to live. Um, the worst I've seen rain was when I went to India with my mum and she, we, bro, this is a joke thing. We come out the airport to, to, to get the bus. And as soon as we were walking towards the bus, the rain came down at such a velocity that you were getting drenched within a second, bro. Yeah. Within a second, it's over. <laughs> forget mm-hmm. your clothes forget everything that's wet that's sticking to your skin bro <laughs> allow yeah, that bro. it's done <laughs> and soon as you go off road you just mud everything is mud dog, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <It's>, yeah <laughs> bro I hate hurricane season bro that's the one thing living in the south southeast in particular and if you if you live in the Gulf of Mexico or the southeastern or just the east coast of the United States you will deal with hurricane season every year. Bro. Yeah. And it ain't no guarantee yeah. that it's going to be something crazy. Like some years, you know, we get smaller storms or not that many storms that have come through. But mostly every year, it's one big storm that's going to come through and drop feet of water on everybody. <laughs> I'm talking about feet. <laughs> you hear me? Meter. Like a, like a, a, some of these places, they're getting a meter of water dropped on them yearly, bro. To your head Trash. top, bro, as well. To your head top, bro. Yeah, it's man. Coming it's for ridiculous, you. <laughs> bro. Car, bro, we had cars swimming in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Yeah. In Atlanta. So it, ten, I heard Tennessee and North Carolina got it worse than we did. Yeah, I, I heard Florida got it quite bad as well. Yeah, oh well, they land in Florida most of the time. Like the Gulf, yeah. the Gulf of Mexico is is like this this shell shape from the west coast of Florida to the uh, south coast of Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and the east coast of Texas. So it's just this loop. If you look at the map, you can see it, and it'll say the Gulf of Mexico. That's where the hurricanes mm-hmm. like to land. They either go through the Gulf of Mexico 
or they come up the east coast of the United States. It's nasty yeah, work, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 every year I hear about Florida. Florida's getting hurricane this and hurricane that. I, I feel sorry for the guys in Florida or the people that live in Florida because, um, you, your insurance must be crazy, bro. Well, they get they got a whole different thing set up down there because they know it's gonna happen. It's inevitable, you know. what I'm saying, shout out to my yeah, brothers, yeah. all my brothers and my sisters, my my nieces and nephews in Florida. Everybody cool, so you know yeah, they good. used to it. Good, good. They the the way they build down there and plan, like the way the state and the cities plan, is for hurricane situations. You know, what I'm saying like they have yeah. to be ahead of that stuff. When they drop the ball, it's disaster. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, you have to be built differently in locations like that. You have to be like that's mm-hmm. that's it. That's literally survival of the fittest, if you really think about it. Um, I think there was uh, because earthquakes is a quite predominant thing in Asia. I'm talking about Japan and stuff like that. Um, they basically have like buildings set up that are anti earthquake proof exactly. as well because they like, shake. They they shake that can move with yeah. the ground. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, exactly. cr- I saw that, bro. When I saw that, I'm like, yeah, these these folks on a different level of <laughs> precaution. It's like up north. Usually, when we get blizzards in the south, the cities are mm-hmm. unprepared because we don't usually get blizzards. So that once every ten or fifteen years, when a real blizzard, like we getting two, three feet of snow and within a day, the city, the whole, bro. I don't know if you knew a few years ago. The whole city of Atlanta and outskirt cities shut down, bro. Everything. People were stuck Ooh. on the highway for days in their cars. Like everything, because we wasn't prepared. We're not used to having blizzards. So when yeah. the highways freeze over, we we ain't got the equipment to take care of it, and people end up stranded you know what i mean so yeah. now they actually then bought the equipment and they made the invest we was prepared for this hurricane not as prepared mm-hmm. as we should have been but isn't it wasn't as bad as it could have been yeah um I'm, I'm gonna say preparation the key is the key to success every single time mm-hmm. um but this is what the funniest thing about preparation is. So, you know, when you have as things occur randomly and you're not used to them, right? And all of a sudden it kind of, um, invades your infrastructure and you're not, and it just shuts down everything. That's happened. And obviously I got flooded years ago, right? And that yeah. happened to us because it shut down everything because that was unexpected. That occurrence was a one in a hundred years life cycle occurrence. Right. Um, and it was, it wasn't supposed to happen and it happened. But now explain to me, bro, right? When you know something's going to happen, I'm going to give you an example. When you know something's going to happen and you're still not prepared for it, i.e. every winter time or every autumn time, there are going to be leaves that fall onto the railway track. And they still stop the service. Why are we not prepared for that, bro? <laughs> if one leaf will take out the service, that that is crazy, bro. <laughs> one le- what? <laughs> you got, no, the, the philosophy behind it. I'll give you some education because I work in that uh, in industry. One leaf could potentially short circuit your signaling system. Therefore, there's no current going through that signaling system. And therefore, trains can't run because they don't know whether to go or stop because the lights are just blank. At the station or like just on anywhere, the rail? Anywhere, anywhere on the system. Anywhere on the system. That's... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> My reaction exactly, bro. <laughs> How's that possible? Yo, 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 yo. A little bit of snow... We'll shut down London, bro. <laughs> what the? How, How bro? How? That, How? <laughs> what? That, should, that should not be a thing. That's ridiculous. That is what ridiculous, you call that? bro. What would you call that, bro? Well, tell me what you call that, bro. If you if you know it's going to happen and you're still not prepared, what does that make you? That's incompetence. <laughs> That's just straight up incompetence, bro. Like, so like, you're talking about I'm, major transit system. <laughs> and I'm not joking with you guys. I'm being 100% serious. Wow, bro. We don't have them type of problem here. Marta going to run when they need to run. 
I don't understand. I don't understand. The lex- no, bro, the electricity is not electrocuting at that point, bro. <laughs> Somebody's calculation ain't, ain't, ain't far. All right, cool. That's cool. Um, no, 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 no. You finna have to tell me. You finna have to tell me. Because I'm in the bed watching TV last night. And I'm scrolling through the channels. And I see this show called Bouncers. Okay. And I say, okay, let me try this. It's filmed in the UK. Okay. And uh, I think I might have heard of it. I think it's uh what is it? Is it Brixton? Is there a place called Yeah, Brixton. Yeah, yeah it's Brixton it's down south. It's Brixton. The, well it's very popular. These... Brixton Academy is where people uh, all the artists come and perform. Okay, so it's it's not quite cops. You know the the show Cops, right? From the US where they oh, just, yeah. they follow the police around. Yeah. In Brixton, they have security got mobile security they not the police so they can't take you to jail they like it's like they a buffer between the population and the police it it makes no sense to me <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you got to explain this I, to me they ride around <laughs> getting people drunk people off the streets or trying to get drunk people off the streets when they leave the club or stopping fights and whatnot Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, so um, there's there's little segments. So if you when you talk about bouncers, there's either bouncers that are bouncers in front of the nightclubs, which, they don't which work you, at the you club. probably know. No, no, no. I when you said bouncers, I thought that I thought the narrative. What I thought you were you gonna say was no, that's the, the show name showing of the show, people. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think there's officially bounce. There's a unit called bouncers, but there's a unit called. Um, uh, I can't remember it, but there's basically oh, cops for hire. Basic, they haven't got any authority, but just to kind of man the public, like oh, move along, yeah, move along. Yeah, that that's what they do. Um, <laughs> they basically want they basically want to be cops. That um, the police kind of aid. What, what are you laughing for, bro? I'm being honest. <laughs> what? Why? Because why? because we look like, because um. There's not enough cops on the streets, bro. That's probably why. <laughs> this is ridiculous, bro. You this is the see most some ridiculous of the thing I ever see. Now, I'm trying to find it. They keep showing me little other movies and shows. No, this is the most hilarious. Me and my wife are sitting there dying laughing. <laughs> Look at this shit, bro. Because <laughs> they, they roll up. And the, most of the time, the person already got put out the club or the restaurant or the pub or whatever. And... They outside stumbling, trying to get back in. Here come these security dudes. They have no authority, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, they're not, no, bro. They're not allowed to. They're not allowed to physically touch you. They're not allowed to kind of manhandle you. They have got look. It's almost like having a cop. It, no, no, it's not almost. It's like having a cop and taking away all his rights to do his job. All you can do is just talk, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Them dudes were getting cussed out. <laughs> Yo, it was just one old dude, right? And he told me I ain't gonna try to do I ain't gonna try to do no fake no fake British accent neither. The old dude was he was in the, like 80 something years old. He in he in the pub, right? He done got too drunk. He tripped. He talked about he done did 23 years of the British Army and all this dude got a cane. He raising up the cane. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's that. Yo, yo, yo you, we're from the UK. We're different kind of characters, bro. We're different bro. kind of characters. <laughs> and they just, they just being so nice and polite. But sir, hey, that's just, we... uh, never, never in the US, boy. Never. They'd have slapped you on your face three times before you got your last yeah. word out. Exactly. Oh, I'm gonna say one thing though. Um, with with stuff like that, a uh, they get ridiculed quite heavily in the streets because if some if you if you're <laughs> from the hood, bro, if you're from the hood and you see and you see a cop that hasn't got no rights, but he he walks around like a, a cop. cop there's not a cop. It, <laughs> no, no, they are rental cops. Literally, there's a phrase in the UK. It's called rental cop. That's what they call them. <laughs> That's not a phrase in the UK. That's a phrase everywhere. <laughs> when you say rental cop here. 
That's what it is. It's security. Security at the yeah. store, security at the building or whatever. You call them rent cops And most of them do have yeah. police aspirations. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. they, they want to be, but they can't go through the whole course to get there to what, what they want to be. So they just yeah, you out here, the uniform. You out here, Paul Blart. Get <laughs> 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 mall cops on the street, bro. What are y'all doing <laughs> over there? No, no, dude. Uh, Paul Blart, bounce cop. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Club cops. They got the club <laughs> cops, bro. They just ride around at night. And it's, I mean, it's just, bro, the production value on the show is great, bro. It's great. Yeah. It's so funny. I, I like, probably watch it tonight. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, bro there's, a, there's, there's a couple other shows uh, that you probably will like. The Border Patrol, uh, Cops Patrol. They, they, they do a lot of UK shows um, with that whole, that whole, whole aesthetics. Trust me, it's worth watching. If you want, if you want a reality check on UK culture, watch one of the UK daytime reality shows about cops and and border patrol. It's so funny, so funny. It was funny as hell to me, bro. Because we got <laughs> we got a bunch of shows like we got jail shows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, where you actually go inside the jail and see how the. My wife wanted to make sure uh, I told you about jail too. I'm a. I don't know if you you will be able to watch it. It's probably on uh, YouTube. No, no, no. I, I, I watched them. I watched uh, the whole. Well, who was the? Was it Maury? No, no. It was who was Jerry no, Springer's? No. Uh... It's a show called Jail, where they. Oh, okay. The, where they yeah. watch people intake and like follow them around with the camera, get their story and all that, bro. It's it's, it's crazy, dog. It's crazy. Yeah, I <laughs> I, I um. I watched the show. Uh, the ones I'm, I think of uh, every time you mention that is uh, a show where they take kids who are offenders. It was scared straight. Was, was it more? Yeah, scared them straight. That's the one. That's why I keep watching. And it's like, <laughs> bro, they get really in their faces, bro. Yeah, but no, they got one called Sixty Days In, where they send like officers and uh correctional officers and police officers and military people and like sometimes it's just civilians they send I've them to it. jail for 60 days as a like bro it's it's crazy i've seen that i've seen that i, I watched about i've watched a couple of seasons of that it's, it's ridiculous because you you gotta kind of be undercover make sure you know the lingo make sure they don't catch you for one and secondly right. if they know you're a civilian or if they know you're not part of the crew they're on your ass you are they have to take you out straight away i see i've seen that show it's crazy it's crazy well, why, why would you put yourself hey. And they say they want the experience for whatever reason. I can I can understand it for the people who actually work in corrections or work uh, as law enforcement. But some of them for they you you just came from uh, the military and now you want to go to jail for some reason. Nah, bro, I'm good. I wonder what the bag looked like. I think I know. I think there's one show where there's this lady. She worked with she worked with school kids. Or nursery kids, and she wanted to experience the jail life. Why? <laughs> Why bro? They got to be the bag, bro. That's why I said, I wonder what the bag like. Uh, 100K? It, <laughs> it better be 100. <laughs> minimum, minimum. Man, going uh, to jail for, for two months, bro? For nothing? Nah. And even you, the, you the correctional what? officers don't know? Like, come on, bro. Nah, we ain't I, I've this. got, I've got, I've got a cheat code. Go in, right. First thing you do is slap the officer, get a little bit of a beat down, and get in, in get into isolation for the rest of the two months, bro. You're sorted. <laughs> <laughs> extreme <Hey>. experience, bro. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> oh, but talking about justice. Talking about justice, right? Um, do you know Batman has got his own name on the Hall of Fame? What? We're so this week, this week he's got his own star with his name in the Hall Hall of Fame. Walk. The Walk of Fame, Walk of Fame. That's the one. I, I said it totally wrong, but Walk of Fame. He's got his name imprinted on 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 the actual thing. So I want to know, please, can the real Batman please stand up, bro? <laughs> Who is the real Batman? <laughs> too many to speak of. <laughs> Not too many to speak of. I mean, the the easy choices are Adam West and Christian Bale, right? Because. No, nah, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. For me, it's the uh, Adam West and Michael Keaton. That Tim Burton movie is fire, bro. I like. I ain't gonna lie. I like Christian Bale better than Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is third for me. 
because he was the he was the uh, no head turn Batman. Yeah, that, that's why I like it. <laughs> it's like robotic. <laughs> it's like no, you can't turn your neck, bro. That take you down and not for me because that ain't Batman ish. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, and I get it. I get it for the time. Then I don't know who who didn't think about that. The suit was dope though. But I I, had, I give him third place because he couldn't. I I I I I to be honest, I'm gonna the Dark Knight series for me was po- probably one of the best um, watches the best in terms of trilogy. Yeah, the best trilogy I, I've seen in terms of like um, comic and superheroes. Um, even even with the Avengers, I just love the dark visions, the the villains in it, the, the actual story arcs in it. They were dope, absolutely hold dope on, to hold see. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You taking the Dark Knight trilogy over? The last three Avengers movies. Is that what you're saying? Um, because that's really the trilogy. Like, what, la, what last three? What, la, what what last three? Are we talking about the last, three, the last the ones recent? With oh no, 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 no. Um, I'm talking about from a, from a gen- general point of view for a quick watch and the in depth storyline and the arcs. I think the the Dark Knight, uh, the Dark Knight series is up there with the Avengers series, hundred percent. Like the build up for that, the whole evolution from Batman from start to end, fantastic. Fuck, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I was about to swear there, but that was an absolutely amazing so, movie. Yeah, I, I I can't put I can't put it over Avengers. <laughs> I can't. There's too much going on in Avengers. You know, you know what? That's the great thing about it because me and the missus sat down one day and watched uh, before the new end game came out. <laughs> she made me watch everything. I'm talking yeah, Iron Man to. up to the whole thing in, in the space of two weeks. In the space of two weeks, bro. <laughs> Every no, night, so, three, two movies. <laughs> look, we, we were, me and my wife was, uh, Infinity War had just came out. Mm-hmm. And what was the one before Infinity War? Whatever that one was, we was watching that one mm-hmm. on TV, and she had never seen it before. She seen all the Iron Mans. She seen the first couple of Avengers movies. She seen Captain America, all that. Black Panther, of course. He had seen every, you know. We sitting there watching it. She seen it for the first time. I'm watching it for pleasure, you know what I'm saying? But she, yeah, seeing it for the first time. And she like, when a new one come out? When it was over. She said, when a new one come out? I said, it just came out like a week ago. You ready to go? <laughs> Boom, hey, right there. We go to the hey. movies to see, to see hey, Infinity you, War. You, you, you know what? Mrs. is loving this era at this moment in time. Like, the fact that we're getting new Ghostbusters, and we're not even talking about the Ghostbusters with the remake with, with the ladies of the Ghostbusters. I'm talking about the, the newer Ghostbusters that are coming out. She's loving the fact with the Beetlejuice movies, the Beetlejuice 2 is coming out. She's loving this era because it's a reminding her of the, of, the, of her when she was growing up, when she was younger. It's fantastic. She's loving this at the moment, bro. Yeah, man. I can't, I can't with the Ghostbusters, but... Marvel got to uh, figure out what's the next best move going to be because they're dropping a lot of shows. They're doing, um, they doing stuff that I'm not certainly not used to them doing. So I, I, they got to they gotta wanna... figure out how to bring the uh, the movies back because the last few Marvel movies, especially with, uh, um, with Kang being compromised at this point because they had a lot planned for Kang moving forward. Yeah, so, um, it's it's gone to Doom now. Um, uh, Doctor Do- Doom is now yeah, the but main villain. Bring Robert Downey back. I I have a, I have a very crazy conspiracy about that. I think um I'm I, I I guys if you this is my conspiracy alone. I've not looked up anything. We're gonna talk about like shoes that. in a minute. I promise. Yeah, we're gonna talk about <laughs> shoes in a minute. I, I've got two I've got two relevant shoe questions for you lined up. But I truly believe that you know the whole Tony Stark arc where he was actually kind of trying to save the world and being very toxic with it. This Mister Doom. Gonna, you think they're gonna turn? Tony Stark into Doctor Doom. That's the one because there's going to be one Doctor. There's going to be one Tony Stark out there that takes it to the extreme ver- version. He and might that's be Mr. a multiverse. Doom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's that, that's yeah, what yeah. that's that's what I'm getting from this because it's easy it's to Dr. set that up. Doom. 
is a Tony Stark from another universe. Exactly. Like we saw with Doctor Strange with when he tried to kind of incorporate yeah, everybody. The whole, to, to, yeah. Yeah, yep. the multiverse there's, there's, is, is fractured and yeah. Because the real Doctor Strange is in limbo. Somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. But but for for me for me that that's that I think makes really good sense to actually accomplish that kind of whole vibe with yeah. Tony because Tony Stark's very clever. He's a very clever individual, um, and I can I see the good we've seen the good variations where he saved the world. Now we're about to see the extreme bad yeah, variation he where he just wants yeah he done he wants to do done done things to a lot of people. That's what that's no, no, what no, I'm no, actually no. getting. I'm with. saying the, the 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 Tony Stark that we know and love he died for real. You're yeah, not coming you, back. You, you're about to get the worst Tony Stark ever. I am, I wouldn't be mad at that. So yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the whole arc. But yeah, it's got well, Marvel can do their Marvel things, but let's see what happens. But I got two questions for you, bro. Right. So number one, I've written this down, so I'm going to read them. Um, what's your jump to sneaker? Like in terms of what sneakers at your door? What if you have to go right this moment in time? Emergency, these, bang. These uh, SB Darwin Lows. Hey, uh, that's 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 my easiest sneaker to wear. Um, if it's wet, I'll go uh, my blazers. These are the shoes that I just I just keep out, like these uh, Ghetto Gastro Jordan One Lows. Yeah, uh, and these uh, Nike ID blazers because they all leather. The Darwin's are cloth, but these um, these just comfortable. These get old gastro ones. They just comfortable. Yeah, uh, I and was, they all I was black. Having... If you notice, all three of them. Are all black. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, I, that's that's a fantastic thing about it because, like, now I know what's kind of until it changes because it will definitely change over the years. But until it changes, now I know black and white, predominantly black with a little bit of white perfect for for q um for the time being for the time being i i was having a conversation with one of the, one of the bros the other day and he was like what was your go-to sneaker and we were talking about it. and i thought i said to him yeah bro i i, I love jordan fives i think i, I prize Jordan five being like up there iconically because every time i wear it on wear it on a special occasion but i think my side sneak is the jordan four he goes what do you mean side sneak? like the side you know the side thing the side chick is, is my, my side thing is the jordan four because at the moment in time I've got FIBA Force Gum Laser Force <laughs> yeah. Winterized Force on my door yeah. so every time I want to go out to the local like, to the mall or shop I'm just like bang four out the yeah. door I agree with that I agree with that because I see I see that a lot from you like you just yeah. and you said that you said that about the Winterized Force cause, especially because you doubled up you wanted to um, just keep wearing them as much as possible because you had another pair anyway yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I know you do wear them FIBA Force a lot the the gum lazers I don't see I haven't seen you or knew I haven't known about you wearing them. Oh, often, I, I I would after this after the pod I would take a picture I will literally go out same time take a picture I'll show you what's on my finger slides and three fours and um, some NMD copper NMD Ultra Boost two point zero just there the old the, 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 the I've I've worked out the Adidas Ultra Boosts are for the garden because they're black and it mm. means I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna I could just trim around um the 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 fee, the fee, like fever falls all that stuff um if I need to go to the shops I'm I'm there bang like like local shops five minutes away force bang out the door um and i find anything else special if i have to go to like uh, an occasion or an event or something like that i just just start wearing stuff in this room so i've kind of got like these isolated rooms if i'm going up it's, it's, it's next to the, it's next to the door if i if i need to go to the garden um and uh, you know plant some seeds i've got my ultra boost <laughs> yeah. and if i need to go to this if i need to go somewhere special i've got all of these stuff around here <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, if I got to do something in the yard, I'm going to put my work shoes on. I did get them Tim's, too. I did not do a review. I, yeah. I still might do the review, even though I didn't want them for a whole week. Bro, they they, they crazy. They crazy. Do I got to show them to you. I do have. I've been, be I've been wearing them to work all week. I wore <laughs> exactly. them in the rain these past three days. They waterproof. I ain't really had no slippage. Walking on wet surface. Yeah. And they are sneakers, and I, I I was getting compliments on them um, 
the other day too. Hey. So hey, massage not ego, bro. Massage not sneaker ego. <laughs> nah, I don't really care, bro. I knew they looked good. I wasn't gonna buy a pair that didn't look good, at least a little bit. You know what I mean? So sec- second question, because we've got a lot to get into this week. Second question is, I think I've unlocked a new sneaker feeling, if that's possible. Or, or I've come to the realization that there's another sneaker feeling that we didn't acknowledge. So let me, let me, let me just square this up with you. Do you have, have you ever bought a sneaker and you bought it and it's the only silhouette. So you got to go way back in your memories. It's the only silhouette, but you want to double up on it because it's the only silhouette because you love that silhouette so much. So that you just want to keep maybe double up on it or get another one of the same variation. And then you get that hunger to just get that silhouette in all the colors. And then even if you have to, even if you have to get a double up, you still double it up. Have you ever had that urge? Yeah. (laughs) I think everybody does. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think that's a new thing. Like, (laughs) It might be, it might not be a thought that's in the forefront of your mind mm-hmm. when you're doing it. For some people, I think for most people it is though. It's like the <clears throat> Jordan One, hey. like the Jordan One is just. But I don't want every. I've never wanted every colorway of any silhouette that I like. You know what I'm saying? I can respect the colorways that I don't like because I like the silhouette. But that don't mean I'm gonna copy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I don't like every colorway of the uh, trainer high SC. I don't like every colorway of the Jordan Five. Mm-hmm. I can respect it because I like that silhouette. I I see what they're doing or or they trying to do, but just that colorway ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the reason why is I um I sent over the hot lavas to one of the bros, um because obviously when I went out I copped to uh, two various two two of those hot lavas one for the bros uh two for the bros and one for myself. Um, was really funny was when I sent it to the bro he put it on the feet straight away took a snap put it on his stories and all of a sudden he was like man I need a double up of these I said hold on bro you know there's like you know with the one eighty nine one eighty they actually really really started to marine and now they got the uh, they got different variations. It's gonna be the same thing with the the hot hot what tech challenge twos. They're gonna release a lot more colorways. So patience, bro. Don't go and buy all the hot lavas that you need because all of a sudden you'll have different variations that you want. And I showed him a couple, and he was like, "Yo, bro, man, I might need to hold up." I said, "Yeah, that's a new feeling. That that for me, the new silhouette feeling." is something I haven't experienced in a long time. And now when I think about it, that's the reason why what you said about Jordan 1s makes more sense. All of a sudden you're buying that, you're buying that, you're like, right, let me give, me give me all the Jordan 1s. Yeah, because yeah, I, 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 did, I did myself a disservice with Jordan 1s because I bought a lot of colorways that I really didn't like for real because it was uh, Jordan 1. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I did fall into the hype a little bit with that. Like I was just... I was just Jordan one crazy, and I was wearing them. It, it wasn't that I mm-hmm. wasn't wearing them. It's just some of them. I'm, I'm, I still got a few, like the uh, the smoke gray, the ones that everybody was turning into Chicago's with the gray suede and the, the red uh, collar. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Yeah, yeah. I be pulling them out every now and then and be like, oh, "Beautiful." Am I gonna wear Beautiful. these? They hard. It's too. They, it's I so forgot hard. how I forgot how good that suede is. That gray suede is. But I'm mm-hmm. looking at them like as hard as they are. And you know, I kept the black laces in them too. Um, <laughs> as hard as they are, when am I really gonna want to wear this shoe again? Yeah, I can't yeah. say. But it's a Jordan One, so it kind of it really don't matter how long I hold it. <laughs> it's gonna be still wearable in four or five years if I decide to pull it out at at the time. But and I'm gonna pull it out every now and then. I maybe stick my foot in it for a little while. But I'm just yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I said the same thing to uh, Daniel. It was like with the fearless ones. I haven't worn them since I first got them until like, like, like a couple of weeks back. And he was like, "You had these for five years." Yesterday. Yeah, he goes. You had these for five years. You don't want them, bro. It's Jordan ones. It's not got. It's rubber. It's not got any foam in it. It'll be. It'll be fine. 
Like, if, if it's 20 years, then maybe, yeah, <laughs> the tech won't work, but it's still going to be fine. <laughs> right. The air unit, the air unit will crumble on the inside, but you can't see it. It ain't like an Air Max. So, yeah, yeah, just, and it's a small extra, air unit. Exactly. And put, put an extra insert or a specialized insert. You'll be fine with that. Yeah. Um, that that's, that's what I'm glad about. But yeah, just for me, um, it, it was it was just reminiscent of when you get your first sneaker and your first silhouette in that range and you're like, man, I, I can understand what that feeling is. And I, I didn't realise that was a feeling until I realised I had a new silhouette and I'm like, yeah, I can understand why, why you go crazy when you get a new silhouette. Yeah, I, I did that with the ones. I kind of did it with the fives, kind of, with, a, certain, with yeah. a, a few pairs. But as far as... Um, as far as silhouette going silhouette crazy, I can buy one of multiple silhouettes. Like mm. I, that uh, P6000 coconut milk, that's the only P6000 I got. It don't Ooh, mean yeah. that I don't like other P6000s, but I prioritize other silhouettes above it. So it's <laughs> like I'm not finna go crazy buying a bunch of these because I like this one. You know what I mean? I bought the one that I wanted, and I'm cool on the rest of them. Like I'm not, yeah. I'm not going SB dunk. SB dunks way easier to get than they were in past years. I ain't going SB crazy. I got the couple pairs that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you know what you know what a f- massively crazy thing at this moment in it is is we're coming to the end of the year. A lot of retailers are talking about sneaker of the year or what their sneaker of the year is, and a lot of people like the recency stuff is crazy because a lot of people that are mentioning sneakers of the year are only mentioning sneakers that actually come out for the last couple of months they forgot about the military blues selling, yeah yeah but they forgot about the military blues they forgot about the black cement reimagined fours they forgot about some of the stuff that came on earlier um and i'm like this is why i always say now nowadays somebody asks me what's what, what sneakers have you got in your rotation hold up let me go to my youtube that's my catalog <laughs> right <laughs> right i mean i ain't been doing that much this year and I might not even do a sneaker of the year list. I mean, I'm gonna have my opinions. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. But as far as um, cause cause these people, these people gonna have the hype. And this year, A6 been hype. So yeah. of course they're gonna put the Jail Kyano 14. Up there. I don't think that sneaker belong on the list for my personal reasons. You know what I'm saying? I, but. I, I guess if if we're just gonna go with consensus, they've been moving a lot of units. So, do they ha- they have to be on the list because they sold, or are we looking at dopeness and and cultural factors and whatnot? Mm-hmm. Like like is is the bike air on the sneaker of the year list? I think it should be because culturally, it moved the needle. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of people don't like it, but that green pair, that first pair, I think it should be on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, it's, it's, the Jail Kayano, I guess, because people bought it and it's reselling. But how much, like, how many points you putting on that? You know what I mean? Should the Amo My Year Three it sat around? Sure. Should it be on the list? Yes, top five. Because it's a better sneaker than a, a lot of the sneakers that came out this year. I, I'm I'm going to say what I think I said last year as well. Uh, it, it, and we, we it, and it's really good because after COVID, we we starting to you starting to see people for what they are. And for for me, um, it's really interesting because your list is going to dictate how people view you now. And and that's the crazy mm-hmm. thing about it because because if you start putting Travis this, Travis that, Travis this, and Nina that, and, and I'm like, but what about the OGs? Or what about? I, I, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you, what about you? Might some of these people might not put. Oh, some of the people that put these lists together might not even put the sneaker up there if it didn't sell out, bro. Bro, the Columbia Eleven should be top five this year. Oh, period. Yeah, the Black Cement Three should be top five this year. If you want to combine it with the Amo One Year Three or put them one in front of unless, the other, cool. But they both un- belong. Unless, I think I think unless you don't classify retro OGs on a list yeah. that you don't want, but we're talking about sneaker of the year, sneaker that released that year, and we're, we're not talk, we're not talking about sneakers that kind of 
already have come out and re retro. We talk about what Pacific they released this year and how relevant that is that sneaker to the release for that year and how did it shift? How did it move? What were the culture reaction to it? That's what the list is all about, bro. I don't think that's fair. It would come out is what come out. Yeah, the elevens, the elevens on my list. Mm-hmm. Oh, you get no Columbia elevens? The hell yeah! Oh, you're beautiful, bro. I, I would be happy if I got a double up. If I'm honest, I, I, no, everybody is going to get a pair because if you go in for that, I think it's going to be it's a, it's like the Concords. It's like the breads. Just do what you need to do. Put your entries in. You should be able to get a pair. Um, but if you get a double up, that's gonna be magical. That is a sneaker that is gorgeous, bro. Just gorgeous. It's about to, it's about to be tough, man. We know. Yeah. Even with the yeah. even with the we'll get to that. Let's do yeah. <laughs> Let's do some quick strikes, man. Yeah, go on, bro. Frank. Big Frank. Mr. N R G, Mr. Energy is coming back to give some more energy um to Nike. Uh, I, w- I you know what? Let, let's 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 let the cookies crumble now and we'll talk about what I mentioned at the start. So last week we saw um Don C uh a new variation of Don C two and a new variation of a uh, of Jordan One Don C. We saw that come through. Um and all of all of a sudden do we hear Frank Cook is back with Nike. Frank Cook he's back with Nike and we know what he's done with Nike with the, with the NRG range. We know he's worked with a lot of collaborations. We know he's worked with Travis. We know he's worked with Virgil. He's iconic. Um, and uh, bro, NRG sneakers were dope, bro, back in the day. Yeah, man. It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of history, a lot of culture, a lot of great things attached to Frank Cook's name. Frank Cooker. In the streets, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's cooking, that name, bro. He's cooking. That name is well deserved. Um, his rep is well deserved. And like you alluded to, and that was a great pun too, by the way, with the cookie crumbles leading to yeah. Frank Cook, Frank Cooker, with the switch up in management. What happens? The OGs you come bring- back. I know. I and th- do you know what? This is what we needed, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not even joking. Bring back what was successful in the past with the with the creativity that you had in the past, with the innovations you had in the past. Um, but make it recency. Make it new to what you need it to be now. When we saw Don C, when we mentioned Don C yet last week and the, the new variations of Don C two, and now we have Frank Cook. Come on right and join nike again and on top of that bro he's also worked with don c before so what's that tell you bro that ain't saying much you i mean you 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 connect your dots how you connect yours i ain't going to go that far all, all i'm gonna say is we might see a lot more of the past bro we might see a lot more collaborations from people that we haven't seen recently that we used to see in the past don c might oh, come yeah. back I'm with bro, you on that. that. Mm-hmm. I'm with you on that. We might, not, we, we might, we might not get, we might not get the colorways or the or the samples that we see, but we'll get something new. We'll get something in in and uh, we'll get something that's going to shift the culture. And this is what we keep banging on about: shifting culture, bringing it back to the audience, bringing it back to the customers. And I hope this is it. Right. If if you check Frank Cookle's IG, he been buying sneakers and showing off sneakers on his Instagram just like we do. Yeah, we, we He's did, one did, of we, us. Did we? Yeah, but did, yeah, no, because we love, we love the culture. This is the culture, bro. This is the culture. We love like, it. No, I mean, no, literally, he buys sneakers and posts them on Instagram. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Didn't we give him a bit of chip about the uh, field generals with the the uh, that wasn't stripes? Was it no? Was it? I think it was. Yeah, that was and Nike and Nike snapped him up. <laughs> that was trash. Yeah, it we gotta bro. keep him from doing crazy shit like that. <laughs> now bro, wife Nike brought back Sean Webberspoon. 
he in the contract, bro. We ain't no go backsies. You on the contract with them folks over there, you stay over there and suffer while your shoes continue to go on sale. A lot of stuff going on sale. But you can get you can get them clocks oh, yeah. so, for the talking about niggity sales. low. Yeah, yeah. Talking about sales, but bro, like how have how the mighty have fallen. You remember remember the satin breads were like thousands. I went to the outlet the Thursday at King's Cross. And by the way, the video was out. I did the outlet little review uh to show you guys what was out there. So go and check it out. It's already out. By the time you see this. Um Satin bread, 73 quid, bro. Sale plus another 20% off if you needed it. It had 9.5 in my size too. I looked at it, said, hmm, nah. Nah. Now they bringing out satin uh, shadows. Yeah, that, that's going to that's gonna sit, bro. <laughs> that's going to sit. Oh, no, hey. now, because cause them Baron 12s selling out. Surprisingly. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't like that shoe, bro. I, I love the silhouette. But they hard I love to get. The... Wow. Selling wow. out. The kid size is gone. Like, toddler sizes, out of here. Yeah, Grade that's, school that's sizes, fun. out of here. Men right. sizes, yeah, they spotty. They, they depend on what <laughs> app you go to or what store you walk in. They might not have your size. They might have your size at the other stores around the corner or down the street. But yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going and to not this bridge. Oh. Right, cool. If you if you if you've been in the sneaker game longer than five years, you know what happened before. You know sneakers were hard to get. You know the hype was crazy. Well, more than five years. More than five, yeah, more than five years. Sorry, more than five years. If you were around for more than five years, you you know the the climate of sneakers before COVID, um, leading into COVID, it was That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you 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 know what times are coming now. You, I'm just I'm just preempting you guys to do your research and find out how it was like and maneuver swiftly because changing management means back to the structure that we were used to. And back to the structure we were used to was quite a tough time. So I'd advise you guys to to gear up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. The um the Travis release was horrible on sneakers. Wait for horrible. That. Save it for cool. I got something for you, bro. Save it for cool. Um, <laughs> The White Thunders continue to sell. I saw them. And they were sitting in at Offspring. Not over here. <laughs> they sell it. Bro, I, I'll give you guys a clue. You guys need to go and check that video. I'll give you guys a clue. Walked into Offspring. Oh, but by the way, shout out to official sneaker speaker. That was a crazy bumping. We both went to pick up the MMU 4s. Ironically, at lunchtime, I walked in with uh, your bread. I, I will send you the clip. This is so funny. I walked in with the metal glasses on because I was doing the the like the visuals, right? And I turn around, I see him with his son, and uh, you know, you know how you catch somebody, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh wow!" Like shot. I got him. I got him, bro. <laughs> oh, shout out to Lincoln. <laughs> Shout out to Lincoln. I sent it to him as well. Like, bro, look, look. He goes, yeah, I was surprised you were there. I said, yeah, I'll pick up that in your force, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. but uh, ironically, we went, I was, um, the, the offspring in King's Cross has got two levels. One downstairs, one's upstairs. And what normally when I did the Black Cement 4 uh, reimagined pickup, it was upstairs. So I went upstairs. <laughs> bro, they were moving boxes of Travis Scott, you one lows into the back. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hmm. <laughs> you ask a question. <laughs> hey, hey, that was that was funny. Yeah, um, but yeah, but uh, uh, there were fours there, bro. Military blues, white and mints, the uh, the all the variations, the sulfurs, everything was there. I was like, oh, bro, that Balvin's <laughs> Balvin's and Amamania sitting. What? small sizes but they were sitting oh. <laughs> go and check out that video you'll be really surprised with what's in that video I'm not even joking anyway nah, I ain't, they ain't got nothing for me I ain't into it but, but next question what? but Frank Frank Cooker welcome back to Nike I'm excited bro oh, no I'm happy I'm happy I, yeah. just, I just hope he he go touch some more retros man yeah but right. next question Drake. 
Yo, boy. Mr. Jump in himself. ASAP Rocky. E. Dropped his Puma sneakers. Two sneakers. Three colorways. No, four colorways, actually. Um, the fourth colorway is not for sale. I don't know if it will be. But we got the ASAP Rocky Puma in Hell. Distressed. What 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 we got going on here, bro? This is your people now. I need I need you to explain. I I I like the brown variation of that uh, distressed um, inhale. I like that the brown variation got caught my attention. I'm I'm not feeling the the red and black variation. Um, it's it's nice. Uh, I, ironically, flames are back. I forgot I forgot to mention this. this is one of my discounts, but I might as well say it now because there's flames in that sneaker. Nike's bringing flames back with a fury range. I mean, flames ain't never died, bro. It's just got I know, but less, they're bringing them uh, back even more, which is crazy. They got overdone. Liked, yeah, oh, so yeah. they had to leave it alone for a while, and then bringing it back. I like the brown in hell, bro. That that, that canvas brown in hell is nice. I, I it's, it's giving me very like obviously it's distressed, but it's giving me such a beautifully distressed vibe to this. I like it. Yeah, I like the purpose behind it. It don't seem. Um, the box is nice. Overdone. As well. It ain't mm-hmm. overdone like um some of these high fashion brands be trying to pull off. Even like with some of the, the pre-dirty stuff, it's not overdone like some of the high fashion brands. But um this these ain't the ones that's that's really causing the stir. And they selling well. Yeah. It's this uh ASAP Rocky Puma Monstro 3D. Yeah, it's that's, <laughs> gone. Cover. What in the monsters <laughs> is Ace <A$R> Rocky <laughs> thinking about? <laughs> like these, I'm, like the lizard, the the, the lizard uh, from Spider Man. It's something here, well, you know what I'm saying? The 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 the, the scalers, the scalar pull ups. <laughs> it's on time for Halloween, though. I ain't on front. Uh, no, no cap. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, it's all 3D printed, which is great. One one unit print, bang. Um, spikes on it makes it makes it cool. Uh, it's it's a. Tri- I, f- I thought it was a tribute to um, um, Harlem as well. Oh, I I've, from I can't. To be honest, I should have paid more attention to it. But he's like Rocky was saying they're a tribute to where he's from. It's Harlem. I guess. I mean. I ain't I ain't listen to what he had to say, but I saw the video where he put him on feet. I mean, in this Crocs climate, I'm not mad, but you got to be on a different level of uh, fashion forwardness mm-hmm. to put these on, bro. And they sold out. Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of resale going on with these. But um, it's got to be a good number of people that actually want to put them on feet. We don't know what the stock numbers were, but we know a lot of people love ASAP oh. Rocky. A lot of hold people on, still on. look at him for uh, fashion. That pit, that picture. If you, if you guys, guys, fifty three minutes in, that picture for the Mostros with the red and the black fit. That is fire, bro. That fit is fire. So why you ain't got them? I didn't see the fit before this, bro. <laughs> you seen the shoe though? The shoe, the shoe is nice, uh, uh, bro. I, I, it's, it's. If I, if I bought that, I would wear that indoors. And I already got indoors, indoors sneaker, which is oh, the indoor slides, which is the Yeezy. So, do I need another one? No, but it's. It, I kind of like the innovation behind it. Some, something about that industry is intriguing. You can like, kind of, it's got spikes on it. It's got, it's got, it's got something fashion. about it that I, is drawing me to it, no, bro. You don't do fashion. You don't do fashion. That's what wrong. No, 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 no. It, 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 you don't do perfect. fashion, bro. It's the perfect sneaker for my mum. I told you, I I haven't told this story on 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 um, on no, the pod no. at all. Maybe I've told this to you before. My me and my brother when we were younger, I pop, think think maybe t- I was thirteen. He was eleven. My mum, we were arguing, and my mum came running downstairs, and she got the thickest wedge <laughs> sl- slipper. <laughs> And she flung it across the room, bro. Me, me, and my brother did the like. You know, I oh, in the matrix. We just dodged it. We dodged it because I think I think the velocity that came, 
he went through my he went through the front window, right? Smashed the front window out and left left the glass. And now me and my brother looked at each other like, oh damn, if we got hit with that, um, we would have we would have KO'd, KO'd us easily. Um, so that 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 monstro is perfect for my mum. I might need to get her. her, her, her. <laughs> You don't do fashion, bro. You don't do fashion. You did fashion. You won't have no problem with going to pay the five hundred dollar resale for these right now. I don't. I because you know what? you got to fit to pull them off. How much is that? Five hundred. Well, I allow that. I allow, allow that for a three D print, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather get the no, It would be more cost effective to get a 3D printer with the materials, <laughs> with the plan, and print that to get a resale. No, do that, guys. Actually, do that. <laughs> you can nah. actually do that. <laughs> hey, the 3D printers ain't cheap. If you watch the, the 3D printer uh, content creators, they let you know how yeah. much all that equipment costs, boy. It ain't. You seen the dude <laughs> made the giant Air Max 95? We never talked about that. Yeah, I did. I did. I did, I did, I did. Yeah. That was dope. He won't, I think he won't like 1200 for it though. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. As much as I love Air Max 95 Neon, yeah, I ain't got 1200 for no, I ain't got enough room in here anyway. Cause they'll have to go in here. Ain't no way in the hill my wife will let me put it in the front row. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh, t- t- talking about sneaker prices, you want to move on, bro, quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the jig is up, pun intended. Okay, <laughs> the jig is up. We knew y'all was scamming. I knew they were scamming when I first seen the story, bro. The the people who actually posted the Air Force One that Kendrick used for the Untitled album cover on Instagram, they out here capping, dog. Break it down, bro. Please. All right. So, <clears throat> so uh, obviously, if you if you follow music like me and Q do, you probably realize that Kendrick released a, a song a week ago called uh, "The Party Dies." Or oh, it's not; it's actually not got official name, but we called it "The Party Dies" because of the chorus. Right. Um, I my theory is that it's supposed to be a variation of the Heart Part Six, which you can't use, so he just untitled it and dropped it on Instagram. Maybe that's a maybe it's true. I'm maybe it's not. That but theory, just, by the way, hey, I'm against we, that theory. By the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we obviously, uh, people have ideas and stuff like that. People have got their own opinions, which is fine. We're not talking about that. Today we're talking no. about the cover-up. We're talking about the cover-up for that song, which is a busted-up pair of Air Force Ones, which Kendrick Lamar took a snapshot from from eBay and used. Right. Off the back of that, the people that were selling the sneaker cancelled the order, realising that Kendrick Lamar used that picture because they don't know who Kendrick Lamar is. They never knew who Kendrick Lamar is until recently. And they put that back on sale for 75 grand because it's the cover up. And on top of that, bro, they printed some t shirts out to, um, to kind of sell along with that. Hey? A lot along with the lies. lies. Yeah. And so basically, this couple were now selling a pair of history, as they quote, uh, which is a bashed up pair of Air Force Ones for another three zeros off the back of the original sale price. Hold on, bro. man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Let's, let's play this. Kamala yeah. Harris is all talk. Reject oh. your empty promises. <laughs> no, we got to listen to a damn we don't. I'm going to talk all over Get these commercials the because yeah, 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 yeah. we don't like need. commercials. We might cut Full this. Business. All right. Here's a really old reference for you, Faith. When Kendrick Lamar talks or sings, he's like E.F. Hutton. People listen. And so when the 17-time Grammy winner and soon-to-be that Super Bowl nice. headliner released a new song on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, it got over 3 million likes. But the cover art he used, a pair of sneakers, belongs to a North Little Rock couple. THV 11's Carter Dweeb talks to the pair about kicks that are giving them one of the biggest kicks of their lives. Information that will change his life because he yearns for that. It was big news in the hip-hop world when Kendrick Lamar surprise released a new song on the evening of September 11th. It was his first song since his high-profile feud with Drake. A five-minute untitled track released simply with a picture of these shoes, a pair of black Air Force Ones. Drum roll, please. Here we go, the big moment. Boom. These are them. That's them. Internet sleuths quickly figured out the shoes came from an eBay listing based in North Little Rock. The account in question called Good To Be You 
and it belongs to Billy Lingo and Darla Wilson, who have been together <laughs> for 20 wrong. years and running the account since 2021. What happened was I sold the shoes and I said, oh, great. I sold a pair of shoes. So I right. started, bo- I've got them, boxed them up, right. printed the label. And all of a sudden my phone was blowing up. It was other eBay users letting them know that their shoes, which were quickly snatched up for $70, were now a piece of hip hop history. The couple says they have no connection to Lamar. This was completely unexpected. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I didn't know a whole lot about, it, but about him. Wait, 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 wait. You ain't going to lie. You ain't know a whole lot about him. That's the important part. Let me continue. And I knew he was. My son had told me about him and my daughter had told me about him, but uh, I really know about him now. Once they figured out what was going on, the couple (laughs) canceled the initial order. And they're now trying to sell the shoes in an auction format starting at $5,000. And since they own the image, they say they plan to sell T-shirts with it. Billy already has one. (laughs) We had an opportunity put in force and uh, I'm not a greedy person. You know, I got to buy it now for $100,000. I buy it now for $75,000. I'm not a greedy person, is what he said, bro. <laughs> but I got to buy it now for $100,000 when I was trying to sell it for $70 two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm not a bro, greedy person. I'm gonna, you're trying to capitalize me. of a culture that you're not a part of, you know nothing about, and you have no feelings for outside of capitalizing on a situation where if it was me, that's my shoe now. Oh Forever. yeah, I'm key. You don't even know. You don't even know. That's that's me. That, yo, I'm hanging though at the back with with a printout. They in a of case the, of the yeah. song lyrics, bro. I song know. Lyrics. I'm trying to contact Kendrick so he can autograph, and I can put him in a case and keep him for as long as I want to keep him. You, you, the, only, the only way that sneaker is worth 75 grand if if Kendrick signs it no it's worth more than 75 grand no minimum minimum if Kendrick signs that that at the moment is nothing if Kendrick Lamar signs it and you you box it up and you all of that stuff you 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 you're worth it's worth the money it's not worth it's not worth 75 grand and then I've I've, I've I'm going to say something you know what Drake could be the ultimate troll and actually buy that sneaker. And he gonna have to give me. He gonna have to give me plenty of tickets. If I'm gonna sell it to him, I need plenty of tickets, bro. I need. Exactly. I need. I might need ten tickets. I might need yeah. ten tickets, bro. Tax free. <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah, let's go. I need ten if, tickets, if, bro. If, if I'm gonna give them to you. If you're a real villain, I wouldn't you sell them for less it. than a ticket. One no, ticket. No, no, no. But but if 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 you if you if you got a op that we were talking about a person that you don't like, and he's got the sneaker, or he, he releases something, you're gonna buy it and burn it, bro. Because basically he's he's your he's your opponent. That you, if you if you really really hate somebody, you do that. But that is that is definitely culture. That is culture vulture. Hundred percent, hundred percent. There's no way oh, you can put that. It's a it's a. I get it from both perspectives, right? And I'm I'm really I really ain't got that much feelings on it, but at the same time, they don't care about it. If if that was if uh some some famous rock artist had used that as a uh, album cover, you know what I'm saying? Like they ain't they not tied to it culturally, so the only value they see is monetary you know what I mean if if it, if it was Guns N' Roses or Metallica or something like that they keeping that that's going to be in a case that's going to be signed that's, you're, what you said is what will happen if it was any other kind of genre of, of music because it's because it's hip hop and rap because the culture the culture not in tune this is what this is the reason why they said what they said um, and this is why they will, will want to sell it and profit it you can't not the hustle 100% you can't check not it hustle. out I'm going to take it a step further than them because now I want to get it authenticated by, um, you know, like the the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or whoever do like the music uh, authentication certifications and all that type shit. And now them sneakers going on tour, on lease. Hmm. They going to mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going I'm to play the long game with it. 
Because d- don't think people who own, like somebody who own a, a, a suit that Prince performed in, or you own a, one of Michael Jackson gloves or a pair of his shoes that he performed in or something like that. You own um, you own the basketball from the uh, jam video that Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson was playing back. That stuff is on tour, dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, sold uh-huh. off is for lease. Like they got they got okay. some of Prince outfits and like Jimi Hendrix guitars and all this type of shit. That you're not getting that for that's that stuff is not hanging up in your museum or your casino or whatever for free. Can, can you can you imagine how much the mic, how much the mic would be for the pop out tour concert that Kendrick sung into? Shit like that. The the the, the shots that he wore. Oh, bro! I, someday I, I, somebody I, gonna somebody gonna have that. Yeah, possibly. No, if they, if they're not already, bro. That's the thing. If they've not got it already, it depends on. I mean, it's Kendrick. You know, you gotta. I don't think he that type of person. I, I have two questions for you to relate to this story. Like if he lose them, if he lose them somewhere, and somebody find them and realize yeah. that would be the type of situation. Right. Question number one: If you could trade those Air Force Ones to have a meeting with Kendrick, I'm talking about sitting down with Kendrick for a day. Would you? You can't have my shoes, bro. These are my <laughs> shoes. He can sign them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, right. bro. Like I'm now. Nah, I'm trying to do it the the culture way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of course, I want to make money. Everybody want to make money. Don't get me wrong and, and have me saying or, or or I don't want y'all to think that I'm saying I don't want the money. Yes, I want yeah. the money, <laughs> but I want to do it in a way that's serving the culture, the culture, yeah, and yeah, myself. Yeah. I, if I can't, I get then. That. That's a different story. Different conversation. Right. Number number two. What if they try to verify the sneakers and they were UA? Is it? No. Did you, then, <laughs> oh, so it's still it's still the same sneaker that you're using. Yeah, and they like they right. selling t-shirts now. Nah, I'm trying to get the PG Lane t-shirt going. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, the, the, I'm gonna like, I'm a license evil. that I'm gonna license the picture for people to make the shirts. You know what I'm saying? Make merch, whatever. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. This is like they said. You do own the artwork. You took the picture. You can get that trademark. You know what I mean? Hey, it, y'all maybe, be, maybe because it's a uh, picture of a Nike product. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm I, trying I to. I'm trying to see how to make this work. I'm trying to see. Yeah. And Kendrick that had Nike products before. Maybe we can get. Maybe we can get something going with Kendrick again. With Nike. With me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out. Yo, how bro. This. You you are you gonna buy a Kendrick Air Force One if you drop the Air Force One? Nah, I ain't an Air Force One guy. <laughs> exactly. Um, bro, yeah, that that's 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 history. That literally is history. The way the way music's going at this moment, especially hip hop, that is that is history. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see if Kendrick reaches out or or something happens. I won't be surprised if if he reaches out and actually asks for proof to use the the artwork that was on eBay because to be honest. It was just like a snap and snap and drop on his on on the song type. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, you gotta you gotta get the messaging behind it. You know, a beat up pair of black Air Force Ones. I get it. Like that's Kendrick. It, it based on what he was saying in the song. Also, that's him saying like, Nah, I've been out here in these streets doing this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like y'all can't y'all can't check me on nothing. I know, I know all y'all secrets. I know how the game go. I see what's happening to the culture. I don't like it. I ain't liked it for a long time, and now I'm finna tell y'all about it every time y'all hear me. <laughs> That's what that, that song that, said. That, that song was dope, very dope. So the, the, uh, the beat up Black Air Force Ones with everything he was saying in that song makes perfect sense because we yeah, know standing on business. What, right, we know what Black Air Force <laughs> Ones signifies. In street culture, like you out here putting in work, and mm-hmm. yeah, that's what Kendrick was saying. Did, did, did you did you see the response from Lecrae? Man, ain't nobody stole Lecrae, bro. 
<laughs> oh, but yeah, both, both the artists D1 and Lecrae actually re- actually responded and added on to that, which was quite great, quite good. Um, but I, I definitely know somebody's out there trying to recreate that Air Force One, bro. The Black Air Force One's creasing it this way, creasing it that way. It's like, yo, yeah, well. you guys ain't got the right one. I've got the right one. This is the right listing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen every day anyway for people wearing black. Food. Yeah, you you, you uh, sneakers always get UA around here, bro. <laughs> Facts. They get it. Cool. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's quit strike. Uh, Jalen Brown said he dropped his shoe because he was bored. <laughs> like that's the most Jalen Brown thing I ever heard. <laughs> like, if y'all know Jalen Brown, and Jalen Brown is like his personality is like he don't have fun ever. He almost like the new Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Like he don't smile that much. He always looking serious. His voice is always. Don't get me wrong. If you if you go watch, you know, and look for interviews, of course he's a regular person, just like Kawhi Leonard is. Yeah. But that perception, the perception that Jalen Brown give off is serious business all the time. And for him to say he went ahead and dropped his signature sneaker with seven four one performance out of boredom. <laughs> it's like of course he did. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a month before the NBA season. Uh, everybody know about your battles with Nike. You want to be with Nike, but you don't want to be with Nike. You you love wearing Nikes, but you cover up the swoosh, the customs, and all this. Uh, the the connections with Kyrie and Jalen Brown. He is from Atlanta. He is to be respected, by the way, even though he played for the Ops Trader. But uh, <laughs> his uh. He dropping his sneakers, and they they gonna be two hundred dollars. Is isn't Jalen got his own brand now? No, this is seven four one performance. Okay. I don't think it's his brand. He might be a, an investor. Okay. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I've heard of seven four one long before uh, any association with Jalen Brown. Yeah, um, I, I I think he. He skipped the bag from and basically, uh, am I talking about the wrong person? Probably, right? Don't worry, sorry, forget it. No, um, he didn't sign with Lee Ning, he didn't go with uh, Anta Mm -hmm. or none of the other overseas companies. I think 741 is a U.S. company, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, but uh, this could be, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna just say, I don't know. Maybe this is his brand. Yeah, um, because I, 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 I'm pretty sure Jalen Brown is um creating his own brand. He's l- looking to get his own sneaker, um, all that stuff. So and I think he's got, I f- wacky. Hold on. Yeah, so I, I think, I think on, on. on the same on the same lines as um. So, there you go. You can get it for pre order. I'm just I'm actually looking at who uh actually owns. 741 so we get some more details on that but basic basically if it seems like a lot of athletes are now looking at the advantage well a couple of athletes are now looking at, looking at the advantage of um having their own brand having something unique to them um and taking the steps towards um getting their own um own kind of notoriety within the sneaker world and performance and athletes and and the nba which is quite interesting to see yeah it is his brand yeah i thought so yeah. So so we've got we've got we've got Curry who's with Under Armour who's actually now uh, got a, a sign, he's got athlete under under Curry Armour. We've obviously we, we Michael Michael Jordan and um has got Jordan brand. Uh, now we've got seven seven for one with Jalen Brown. Uh yeah, that that might be a trend, bro, currently appearing. It ain't nothing new. Hmm? We've seen it before. Um, we've seen Shaq do it. We've seen mm-hmm. um, Stephon Marbury do it. We saw um, Jamal Crawford do it with the crossover line. Mm-hmm. Say nothing new. Uh, we saw the, the uh, big baller brand. Hopefully uh, none of these other guys end up like big baller brand did. But um, yeah, even... That- even um, 
Chris Weber with Dada. Just going mm-hmm. going with a with a brand that wasn't known for basketball sneakers and trying to make it be known for basketball sneakers. Spreewell, like it's we this ain't nothing new, dog. I, I think I think I, I, the big baller brand was quite weird to me. I, I felt like it was more of a promotional for his kids. It was trying to get his kids on the map in terms of we're here. This is our brand. No, we, uh, I think it's uh, the other great, way around. He was trying to capitalize you know? off of their popularity. Okay, cool. I, I kind of from from the outside, it felt like he was trying to get his kids into the best position possible and if they didn't he was creating something off the back of it like the like that league he created the big baller brand sneaker created maybe uh, i'm not too close to the situation like in the states to hear everything but that's what it felt like from an outside perspective where he was trying to do stuff to get his kids into the best position if they weren't succeeding he was going he was sending he was doing like uh, obviously the the um, the league that he created, he, his, his kids were going to different leagues outside the NBA to get their um, reputation up. It's, it felt it felt like a, a a parent that was trying their utmost to make sure their kids were there. Then maybe after that, it was more capitalizing on the situation. And no, uh, it's 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 giving um, pageant parent to me, one hundred percent in hindsight. Ooh, um, good take. Based on good take. Based on the way it ended up, um, at the beginning it seemed wholesome, and it it, it may have well been wholesome, um, mm-hmm. because Lavar Ball was a professional level athlete in his time. But once um, the notoriety came, I felt like he was doing a little bit too much. I mean, we didn't claim we didn't clown. Big baller brand products on this podcast in the past, and rightfully so. We see Lamelo Ball with Puma and how popular he is, and and how his his brand is moving with the young people. They, mm-hmm. they love it, you know. what I'm saying them 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 puffy, crazy looking skate shoes that we don't like. The young people love them. They selling out, you know. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, I've heard Hooper say that his basketball stuff ain't the best, but it's still selling with the young people. So mm-hmm. uh, Lonzo, Lonzo said, I'm done with all this. I'm wearing Kobe's, bro. <laughs> like we want, he wanted his, clearly he wanted his shoes to wear like Kobe's. They kind of looked like Kobe's. Mm-hmm. They wasn't it. He said, enough of this. I'm finna go over here and wear these Nikes, bro. Yeah. You, you, you do I, what you do. This is, this this is the difference between I, I was trying to the reason why I wanted to elaborate about a bit more about the big baller brand is um, I don't think that was really a genuine attempt to put for performance. It was right. never a serious brand for performance in terms of what Jalen Brown and uh, Anta are doing and Jordan Brown, all, all like Reebok, all of that stuff. They're trying to they're trying to move waves in the sporting athlete NBA range. Big ballers was like I would make a shoe. Because my kids need the shoe. It felt if it didn't feel genuine in terms of trying to strive to make a brand for to, for the for the for the athletes. It was more supporting the kids, and this is why if when we saw the toenail slide that they created, a big baller brand toenail slide, you know the situation. Now this is this is just like a cash grab. But when you, when you look at seven for one, um, when you look at a curry, all of the stuff you have to take more seriously because these athletes actually want to do stuff within the athletic athletic range of the NBA. Right. I mean, they they weren't even sketchers level, bro. That's saying something. Cut too many corners. Mm-hmm. So, next quick strike. Our guy, James Whitner, has spoken. Finally, he did an interview with Complex on uh, Please Explain, this new show they got. Uh, he was the first guest. And he said a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot has been said about him with the lawsuit and the... Um, all the allegations. I'll just say all the allegations because we we talked about and focused on the money laundering and backdooring allegations. He said they were pretty much trying to give him a RICO. 
like he was a part of a drug trafficking situation. Okay. Uh, of course, he claimed innocence on everything. Um, we got details about um, some of his court stuff, but let me let me uh, kind of summarize some more stuff from the interview. He talked about um, the bot situation, how um, he said half a million dollars on his last interview is what they spend typically to stop bots. Equal, he talked about equal. We know equal has been the platform that a lot of uh, retailers been using. Uh, he talked about battling with uh, these corporations and collaborators to do what he do what they want and do what he wants, and how to fast track, which is it made made a lot of sense when he talked about he he's all about speed. Let's do it now. Let's get it done now. Let's do it now. So um, he talked about it's ca- a little it's bit the about momentum. right. That's why we're seeing so much coming from Amal Mahir in such a short time. Mm-hmm. Because he's pushing the needle with these brands to let's get this product out here. He talked about the uh, the choice to do this this crazy purple color or burgundy color that we always see. He talked about that. It was just a great interview, bro. I've seen him speak before, but I've never heard him speak this way. He talked about not being a reformed street guy because people like to call him a street guy. He said he ain't reformed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a dope interview, bro. I advise yeah. everybody to go watch it on Please Explain uh, on Complex YouTube. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely worth a watch. Um, I had a chance to g- g- get in and out of it, which is which is bad on me because I need to go and watch that. But um, it's, it's, it was good. But it was really funny. It was a really funny week in terms of the whole Amon Manier, James Whitner. For some reason, somebody somebody on socials put out a day before the whole um, whole thing about the quitter with the case was, they said James Whitner owes X amount of millions. Um, and I think it was somebody miselaborated the interview potentially because obviously they were talking about a Rico case and how he owes money and blah 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 then all of a sudden the next day a statement comes up from Amber Manier saying the case is gone there's no evidence bam 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 the interview comes out and all of it's squashed and I can't I literally can't find that article anyway because I think somebody's actually misinterpreted it and taken it down due to the what was released the next day but it was quite interesting to see um a lot of people were this was last year when we first heard about it a lot of people were um kind of like disparaging disparaging on on the case are you and it's easy to i'm gonna be honest this is why when we when we approached when we approached it we approached it with we don't know let the court let the case happen let's see what the evidence is let's see what happens with it it's it's easy to jump on the bandwagon every single time it's easy to ridicule somebody every single time when you have no information of what 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 transpired once you have the information of what you transpired then you can actually take the correct decisions and lead the correct accusations until then you're in you're not in the know so it's important that you we it was important that this happened and it was made public so everybody knew what was happening so now we can move on as simple yeah. as that yeah no, was, no, 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 more, no more no more no more bullshit pretty much I'm a many years dropping sneakers James Whitney's not guilty um there's no there's no smoke there's no fire carry on uh also in the interview go on I think he stepped on himself because he's, he talked about uh, the while you were sleeping pack, which there are seven sneakers. We've only seen six, but he was wearing a all black Jordan three with iridescent and that uh, violet or color during the interview Ooh. and she asked him about what he was wearing yeah hand wash cold Jordan 3's <laughs> black all black suede delicate suede 
is the way he described it. Okay. Uh, it's it's had the gray bottom, you know, like kind of like the uh, the black I'm on my year three that we just got. Yeah. And they were they were shining in the camera. They tried to get a on foot little clip of him, and it was you know you could see the shoe, but it's all black, so you can't really see the details like you want to. Mm-hmm. He said. Not everybody will get a pair of hand wash code threes. All right, so his friends and family didn't pretty much. <laughs> no, no, he didn't okay. say they were friends and family. She okay. said she said the words friends and family, if I'm not mistaken. And but, uh, uh, that's what Q's talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me let, let me. Let, let me zoom into this because this is a people people will be intrigued to work out I'm just trying to zoom into this as much as possible that's what we're talking about that's what we're talking you about you see the little iridescent yeah, it, like right on the, the right. yeah, yeah like what is I that think. what is that I'm just gonna reach I'm just gonna reach around and I'm gonna show this Look, there you go bro that but the shoe is all black right you see that right? I know bro it Okay. Ir- iridescent, that looks metallic on his shoes. It does it look, look metallic. metallic. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. um, I, uh, I had the, I had a quite an interesting take on the actual Amma Manier uh, fours. Uh, I looked at it the other day, and it's interesting that when you pull up the insole, it's got while you were sleeping on the actual mi- uh, uh, midsole to outsole. Do it too. Yeah, the freeze, yeah, with all the, with all the uh, while you were sleeping, it's got that. And I, I, I was sitting there, and I had, I had sometimes I had pointless um, thoughts. One of the thoughts was, why is that statement underneath the insole? And I kind of thought, I don't know if you agree with me. I kind of thought there's a reason behind that. You basically are saying everybody is stepping on people that are sleeping at this moment in time. The people that buy the sneaker are actually stepping all over the people that are sleeping because you're progressing. And I kind of. I took that narrative to it. I don't know if that's true. I don't know whether the intention was, but you're walking over all over people that are sleeping. That that metaphor is what I got with that when I saw that. I received I received that interpretation. I received that interpretation one hundred percent. I like that notion. Um, he said that the while you were sleeping is a reference to the black culture and how we have to do things quietly or. Mm-hmm. Will be uh, attacked. Yeah, Something I agree to that with that too. Effect. So I, I, um, I do agree with that too. Yeah, it's it makes sense. What you said makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. But shout out is, to James intrig- Winter, man. It, he outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's great to see. I'm I'm glad that's all cleared up. Glad that's all cleared up. We can move on. Yeah, and we will to the next quick strike. Hey, what we got? Nigo, you tell me you want to talk about this uh Nigo Nike situation? Yeah, so um it was quite it was quite interesting because Nigo is basically now uh with, oh, the new Nigo free uh, no the new Air, Air, Force, Air Force Nigo is coming out on the fourth of October. Uh with Air Force right, 2. It already dropped over here. Is it already dropped? Yeah. No, well, apparently apparently official releases on the fourth. We I think globally we're gonna see it on the fourth. There is though, bro, another variation I want to show you if you haven't already seen it. Possibly you have already. I think I have. Um, and it's a it's a brown variation. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to pull it up. Hold on. Uh uh share this. I had it pulled up. Yeah, there you go. It's a brown wow. variation. I think that's a better looking variation than we what what was actually released. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say it's better looking. I like it more. Yeah. I did like the first one, uh, the colorful one, multicolor or whatever you want to call it. Um, but but by just, the way, I'm not cor- a pink guy, so that correction. pink on, the, on the, the first colorway made me stay away from it. My, my, my bad correction, Air Force 3, not Air Force 2, Air Force 3. Yeah, I said Air Force 3. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, um, so, yeah, so basically that, it looks like we're going to get another variation. Uh, I, I was quite... Mm, sorry. I said I, I, I know. I said Air Force Three. I got you. 
<laughs> um, we also saw uh, a Dope Boy video, which is an anime video for the actual release as well, which looks crazy. It's part of it was part of the um, Thugger Thugger. Oh, was it uh, Thugger Thugger one? I think Dope Boy video. Am I correct? I see Yanta. Hmm. Yanta. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was quite interesting to see. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put the sounds on for that because basically, obviously, we might get copyright strike. But it, it was good to see that that made appearance. That that was like a, a semi-official release kind of video for that. I like the anime v- vibes to this. I think it's dope what they're doing this to the to this. It feels retroy as well. If you if you, if you if you get what I mean, if you're actually watching the video as we're talking. But what do you reckon, bro? No, oh, this is dope, bro. Especially, uh, you know what? We saw this a long time ago. Yeah. And Young Thug got locked up. He'd been locked up for a while. I'm trying to think now how long ago, exactly how long ago we saw the Negro News. Was it before or after Young Thug got locked up? I think it was after. He got locked yeah, up, it was, but I think we've been was. waiting on it so long because Young Thug has been locked up. Had Young Thug been out, we probably would have been got this rollout. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people saying the whole video was good, the uh, execution was good, the whole vibe was good, but the sneakers mid. It's like Air Force Three. Hmm. With nobody really checking for the Air Force Three, but you gotta respect it though. I mean, if you if you love Nego the way you say you do, you gotta. Uh, what you mean by mid though? What's what's mid? What's mid about? Uh, people, it? Yeah, that's, that's the question. That's that's the question. Is it, it's um I I I think it's a I like the the brown variation. I think the new the new one that's releasing or the first one that's releasing is very vibrant, and it uh, I, I think a lot of people were expecting to see the Bape Star vibe to the that's to it, free. It, and it, this, that's this there. People, it's some got people patent leather. It. It's got bright co- bright colors. It's got. Some uh, people, Funny font on the top. Like, what y'all... Is Nego. The shoe go with the... Come on, man. I don't know. I don't want to so, hear that shit, bro. People... Yeah. If y'all don't know, y'all don't know. It's okay to not know sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It, I think it's I think it's magnificent. Um, I, I'm glad Nego's with um, Nike. I want to see I want to see what he brings along to the table. New management, new innovation, new creativity. You Now you've got Nego. You've got Frank Cooker. Uh, hey, uh, Travis, Balvin, and yeah. Manier, just bro. What else you want? And and that brown pair is uh, inspired by Planet of the Apes. The insole got uh, graphics on it. It's dope. I didn't man. know that. Yeah, I, I I need to check. I need to definitely check it. I, I this is good. Um, new silhouettes, new design, new innovation. What more, what more do you want? I ain't hate no Nigo, bro. Even if I don't like the colorway or I decide not to buy the sneaker, I still think it's dope. That's my <laughs> honest opinion. I think it's a dope sneaker. The the rollout and the release, hopefully the release um, for everybody goes as well as they need it to go, especially with people hating on it. Because the same people that's hating on it is trying to buy it and resell it. Yeah, the f- the first release is going to be um for the first release for any collaboration is always hard to get, um so it's going to be quite, I think it's going to be hard to get, uh and you are the same people that are, are actually bad mouthing it are probably going to end up trying to pick it up, and I think I, I will be surprised the same people that are bad mouthing will trying to keep it and just trying to flex it as well. Watch, OG sneakerheads like the Air Force Three, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, last quick strike. Oh, the wrong one. It's all good. There you go. What is StockX doing, bro? What do you mean? They put their name on the front of the Detroit Pistons jersey. First is Walmart. Now the NBA. Bro. 
It's advertisement. I think, I think, I don't know, man. They, they, it costs a lot to get your name put on an NBA jersey. Like, the Stock X, bro. I get it. Stock X, Stock X was founded in Detroit. The Pistons is the Detroit team. They got Big Sean to wear the jersey for an ad. Like, all right, Detroit. Yay, Detroit. Like, I get it. I ain't got nothing against Detroit. Shout out to Detroit and everybody from Detroit. I don't want StockX on the front of no damn NBA jersey, bro. I don't want to be reminded of StockX when I'm watching a basketball game, dog. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm just going to say one thing. If if I'm StockX, that's that's perfect. If I if I'm a businessman, that's perfect because um, for me, having StockX associated with one of the biggest sports that actually people want to buy sneakers from, i.e. the NBA, perfect. Uh, that that move it cries a bit of desperation, but it's a perfect move because it reminds people that your athlete, the, the, the athletes that are wearing that jersey, have got StockX and the sneakers that they're wearing. You can get similar sneakers from. It's perfect promotional. It's pr- promote promotional wise. It's perfect. If, even if you don't like it, bro, it's perfect promotional promotion for StockX. No doubt. I swear. The minute I see an NBA player walking through the tunnel with a StockX tag hanging off this sneaker, <laughs> the streets is done. Yo, I the streets not- is done. You you know what would make it even worse if they had a printed StockX tag as a symbol on the jersey. Stop it, bro! Stop! Stop oh, giving them oh. ideas. <laughs> one last one, bro. <laughs> or if if the barcode was attached. To a StockX tag that you scan to buy the jersey. You oh. got to know. You got to know they're gonna have StockX exclusive jerseys. They finna go crazy with this. I, I, and and you and you know they will sell these on StockX. Bro. They about to have StockX exclusive Detroit Pistons jerseys. What? That's what I tell you. I want to. I want to. I'm gonna send you the link when they pop up. Yeah, give, I want to talk about this for just a minute. Just a minute. One minute. Is, is are Nike secretly pushing GOAT? How? No, it ain't no secret. Yeah, okay, good. I, I'm, 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 cl- I'm glad you said that because they, they, GOAT are getting a lot of exclusive stuff to auction the organs. this. Yeah, the, what, you, saw, you saw the Air, Air, Air Max ones, and now you're saying another dunk. Uh, no, no, what, it's what a bunch the, of them. Yeah, what the Oregon? Yeah, this is like the fourth or fifth one. Yeah, it, the Oregon, so, so, the University of Oregon, drops sneakers exclusively on Goat at retail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's really got me wondering. It really got me wondering. Like, are are, are Nike chess moves? kind of aligning with GOAT because they don't really mess around with StockX at all. This, this is more of a this is more of a StockX versus GOAT thing. This conversation yeah. right here. Because yeah, I know, I know. StockX aligning with Walmart and the NBA, you have to believe it's in di- direct response to GOAT having exclusive releases over the past few years. It's not just the Oregon stuff. You know, and StockX I I believe have had exclusive releases on their platform too. So this is like the the reseller platform wars what we're talking about with StockX and GOAT. And and why not try to get Nike on board? Why not uh do it with Oregon? Oregon is known for having fresh gear. They helmets, they jerseys, the all the sneakers, the Jordans and Nikes. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon is outside of UNC there's UNC, there's um, Marquette, and the University of Florida, in my opinion, that 
come kind of close to Oregon when it comes to PEs. Clean. The Oregon PE, when we talk about P, college PEs, the Oregon PEs are always at the top of the pack, in most opinions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, like, they, they're absolutely cr- magical, like some, some of those uh, PEs. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of got me, like, I looked at the other day and I saw I saw the what the, and um, I was like, yeah, why is it coming on? Go-? And, I, and I, it was kind of like instant like light bulb moment. I said, like, Go are actually doing a lot with Nike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we leave that thought. Well, let's let's have a let's have a look at what happens with that situation because I'm intrigued to see this battle between Goat and Nike and StockX to see who survives these uh, resale wars and uh, the great sneaker uh, depression of resale. I think StockX suffering. I mean, they both they both suffering, but StockX been had uh, a bad stigma more so than Goat. And with mm-hmm. goat having these exclusive drops, I think it's in their favor. In, for, in my opinion, it's in their favor. I prefer goat if I got ma- to go ma- resale. Ma- yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I find goat prices are quite uh, more reasonably priced than StockX as well. I think StockX has um, got people over exaggerating prices on there as well, anyway. So, but every time I check goat, goats tend to be like 10% more cheaper than StockX for some reason. Over here, goat is more expensive, but to me, goat is more reliable. Because mm-hmm. I've had goat um, stop bad products before. I've never had StockX question or stop a product, and it's only mm-hmm. been a handful of times from both platforms. Well, actually, it's been more goat than StockX, but goat was the first platform that I tried, so. I've had I've just had better experience with them in general buying and selling. Do 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 go uh, do go actually come out and say, um, yeah, we we hundred percent verify it's legit or, or because StockX yeah. made that claim from the start. Nah, uh, go still authenticate just like e. They guarantee authenticity. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Go stop um, the B grade from 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 coming to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, so, uh, that's that's. That's the way it needs to be, though. That's that's the way it definitely needs to be. Um, but yeah, that that was uh, that was a quick strike for this week. Uh, we didn't have a main topic because there was loads of things we need to get through this week. But we always here at this time at this juncture, bro, because we always want to wait for this kind of event to happen. Let's go. When resale is too high, damn resale. Order, order. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beasts. Order. Order in the court. Order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Welcome back to Sneaker Court Public Opinion When we judge public opinion And executioner Welcome back this week We got two cases It should be quickly done Because one of them's I kind of think it's resolved already But um, court case number one Guys and that You need to come to the front And take this L It's almost fumbled the bag You almost dropped it down the loo And flushed the toilet um, Because you brought out Well, ASICs did did a wonderful thing and sent you a pair and you unboxed them live on stream. Uh, And your reaction was the best indication for promotion for ASICs. And (laughs) that was terrible. You should never have unboxed a rival brand sneaker on your channel if you are sponsored and paid by the brand or the opposite brand. Nike didn't want you to open ASICs up. They didn't need you to open ASICs up. Your reaction to not wear, not being able, even questioning the fact that you, if you could wear ASICs and being a Nike athlete, you should have read your contract before you signed it, bro. Um, but Nike reprimanded you. They got you back on the advert. Uh, the poly, the AMX one poly lows, yeah, bro? Yeah. Um, it's like an 8-bit variation of a couple. They got a Air Max 1 and an Air Max 90 mm-hmm. that I saw. But yeah, and that ad was horrible, by the way. Um, they had him in a fake setup 
similar to his, but it was all like eight bit. I got what they were going for, but Casanat is not a good actor. I'm not hating on him. <laughs> Shout out to him, but the that ass sucked. Get your bag. Yeah, yeah, he get to the bag now. I can't, but, I can't hate on him. But advice for anybody that is in that situation: if you're signed by a brand and they give you millions or whatever the contract is, do not go on live and open up a new brand or opposing brand and um, be in your feelings because you can't wear it. Um, do it do it privately. Cry in the corner privately. Don't show it to, to the public because you just gave ASICs a massive promotion with that. I'm surprised Nike weren't calling you up straight away to reprimand you, which they kind of did for the next day because you did the advert for the, for the new uh, sneakers. But don't do it again, bro. Nike might just drop you next time. That's all I'm saying, bro. But on that... <laughs> Guilty for being an absolute dumbass, um, bro. <laughs> what's the what's the verdict? Hey. You might have to go in time out. They might have to regroup and uh, have some meetings with the young fella. Let him know what he can and can't do out here. Cause that was yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you might you, you might need to could be uh, you might have to go on on a Nike course um, of how to be a brand ambassador. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, next next up. Guilty. Um, I'm going to say this straight from the start. In 2024, there's no way you should be doing a first come first serve on a Travis Scott one low ever, ever. Because as as a, as a uh, retailer, you should have more knowledge about your releases as a re- and we've talked about this countless times as a retailer you should have the knowledge of what's going to happen when you do something stupid and as a retailer the reprimands of doing something stupid is something like this i'm not going to try to show it because hold on let me present the video because it's a video and I'll show you guys what happens to anybody <laughs> that does a first come first service or first come first serve on a sneaker that is super hyped and super limited. This is what happens, guys. And if it does play, hopefully it's loading up. <laughs> So um, it got it got kind of ransacked um, to the point where this happened. Let's have a look quickly there. So the, the shop front was smashed to bits. Uh, windows were snatched. Um, it was either they did a they did a kind of first come first serve for the toddler pairs for the Travis Scott one lows, um, and then they basically had all the highs locked up downstairs for collection. It came, I was told it came to a point, right, where it was either give them the toddler pairs or the shop gets raided and robbed. That w- that was happening at that point. This was SNS, uh, Sneakers and Stuff in London. And another one uh, I'm going to show as well is this, because this, I think Foot Patrol also had a first come first serve. And they just literally let the resellers pick up all the pairs. Uh, <laughs> So, on that, guys, if you're a retailer and you know you got a hype release and the sneakers coming out and everybody wants it, just raffle it. Don't do a first come first serve. Your shop's gonna get ransacked. Um, and on that note, guys, that's crazy. Guilty uh, for doing. St- Stupid activities around releases that are super hyped. Uh, what's the verdict, bro? <laughs> they got what they had coming to them, for one. But um, that ain't what I was talking about. Because the sneakers release yesterday was glitched out. Like, you couldn't even enter. <laughs> y'all, can't, y'all can't talk about bot protection and... and extra security and all this shit if you can't even join a draw. A 10-minute draw. Yeah, yeah. Could not join That's it, bro. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I, I, think actually that, been, that, that, I actually been going for the for this sneaker. I I kind of like it, um, but nah, it's 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 El Segundo. <laughs> like, yeah. Shout out to everybody that tried to sign up on sneakers yesterday. It was impossible for me. Yeah, it it kind it kind of it's this was the most stopped pair as well for some reason, and um, basically it kind of just was says crazy. Who? Well, well that. Apparently, the most stopped Travis Scott one, along with the Canaries. Sure. sure. <laughs> but it's going more. It's going for more than uh, pairs that came out with less numbers, right? Yeah. But sure. by the way, that that information was shared to me by the bro from uh, who's on Discord for Soul Edits. Um, so yeah, that's the way. That's where the pictures came out. It's, it's nobody, not a lot of people know about that. But yeah, that that's what happened with Travis. At least. I don't understand why we're still doing this. Why we're still doing first come first serve for for really hype sneakers? Um, you could have done that for any GR, but for Travis, for you, you you could have even done that first come first serve for the for the Amman Years. I think there was a first come first serve for the Amman Year fours. Don't do it for a Travis, really. They're not in touch, bro. Okay, mm. but- that's it. That's that's the court case of the day, bro. <laughs> Just don't be stupid. Just don't be stupid. When resale is too high. Damn resellers. Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order. Order in the court. Order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for Order in the court. The sneaker court. Of public opinion. I still don't know. I still don't know how we that was a first come first serve. <laughs> as stupid is as stupid does. When you ain't locked in on know what's going on with the community, you gonna do stupid shit like that. Yeah, you exactly. play stupid games and win stupid prizes. Yeah, they definitely won a stupid prize, bro. Stupid right? The broken, broken glass, and never nearly got raided out of all the stock. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> right, let's get some. Let's just, let's get some into some discounts today. Yeah, uh, you remember the Hulk slides? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me they got a black variation, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Whoever's re- responsible for this, stop it. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Next quick strike. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about next quick strike, next discount. The, the, uh, I'll go. I'll go. You saying that because I keep calling it uh, quick strike outside the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, um, discount. <laughs> Wilson Smith, um, Nike designer, OG Nike mm-hmm. designer was telling the story about how the air up tempo was designed, right? He mm-hmm. said one of his colleagues told him, just just put air on it as big as you can across the side. <laughs> and he did. And it was dope. And then he realized, like, wait a minute, the A and the R kind of look the same. <laughs> put it on the other side too. <laughs> cool. So they got this this dope design. And they take it to, you guessed it, Tinker. Like, yeah. hey, Tinker, what you think it is? <laughs> Tinker thought it was trash. <laughs> 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 and it went on to be one of the biggest selling basketball sneakers in Nike history. So, hey, I, I guess, I guess, as people can be wrong. Hey, Tinker's a genius, but he can't see everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next discount. Tatum three pack. Did mm. you see that? No. Nah. Jason Tatum got his third sneaker coming. Uh, let's see if I can pull this quick. And he's dropping a pack with a Jordan one low OG. Oh, bro, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I have, but I didn't delve into it. Those Jordan ones actually look kind of nice. Yeah, got a floral print on them. Um. Dual pack, they probably gonna be maybe I say about five, four fifty five hundred. Well, I don't know his basketball sneakers. I think they're like one thirty or one forty, so he might be around four hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I, I like what they're doing with the boxes, bro. Um, I'm, we might, we might need to touch on who's done the best box this year because that box looks dope. The pu, the Puma, um, Puma ASAP box looks dope with the de stress look. Amamania box looks dope. <laughs> There's a lot of the Nina Chanel box looks fantastic, bro. There's a lot of good boxes. You know what? <laughs> Who cares about a sneaker anymore, bro? <laughs> 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 oh man! Next to this guy. Yo, is, is that is that why? Who designed that box sneaker? It was mischief, wasn't it? Man, watch out! That wasn't mischief. That was somebody else. It was not mischief. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, that, oh, I wonder why. I, I wonder if that's the reason why <laughs> they designed that. Yeah. <laughs> What's up next, bro? Uh, Nigel got another. RM full bike air. Um, this one is black, gray, and blue, like Carolina University blue. Okay. Um, pictures of him wearing that been floating around recently, so be on the lookout for that one if you like the uh, Jordan Four RM bike air. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nigel doing his thing. Shout out to him. Uh, Kyrie Irving put on a fashion show. He ain't playing. He got a whole lineup. He got uh, different collections. He got, we seen all the sneakers. We talked about them last week. Shout out to Kyrie, man. He he doing everything he can to get it popping. It, it almost feels like this is what he wanted to do with Nike. It, it, you, aside, aside from what, what was actually, ha- what actually happened in terms of the, the whole situation I felt I feels like this is actually what he wanted to do with Nike and he wasn't able to so he's doing it with answer because he's able to I ain't gonna say this is what he wanted to do with Nike but I definitely think this is what he's doing because he's able to mm-hmm. I think they ask him for him to do everything that he possibly wants to yeah do. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's in it's in everybody's benefit for him to do the most while he can while he's still you know him because he yeah. is indeed him so uh, shout out to Kyrie. Uh, we took the Jaw Two induction. It sold out. That's all. <laughs> That's all. That's all, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me give a little bit of love to Adidas because I was very surprised by this HBCU Crazy Eight Low Pack that they got going. Did you see that? Ooh, no. Yeah, let me uh, let me grab that real quick. Uh, I'm I'm gonna as, as Q's doing. I'm just gonna rattle off a couple. Travis Scott backdoors. Apparently, um, there was a whole warehouse or shelves and shelves and stacks and stacks of Travis Scotts going around on social media with people saying that it will backdoor quite quickly. If I was you, I'd just be careful in the resale market. Um, if you're able to cop them, uh, for, and you know the uh, official source, then do that. If you don't, if you aren't, then don't do that because obviously there's gonna be a lot of UAs about. Uh, UAs are harder to detect. Uh, all of those could be UAs. All of those could be legit pairs. Who knows? Who cares? Just move safely and get the peers authenticated if you can next up oh look this is the uh, the crazy eight lows it's oh yeah I did see that pack. I did see that yeah I like that these are these are hard I don't know if I yeah. ever seen crazy eight lows before <laughs> I like the lows a lot better than the highs and these colorways are Ooh, the bumblebee yeah, yeah that's just fire that's, That's grambling. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bunch of colleges, uh, HBCU schools got colorways. So shout out to Adidas for that, man. I, yeah. I normally don't give Adidas shout outs, but I had to for that one. Uh, yeah. And I got one more. You're the snake, 2025. We're seeing uh, early looks of a Jordan 11 low. You're the snake. Mm. We reckon. If you like that uh, that style, I'm an IE guy, but I just wanted to mention it because we know that's a popular silhouette. So yeah, um, I got two myself. Black toe, black toe, rem- oh, black toe high is moving to 225. So watch out for mm-hmm. that. Um, and last but not least, 
I've seen more pictures of the Wu Tang. Um, I'm, the more I'm seeing it, the more I'm believing it's going to be a US only. Um, it might be super hard to get, obviously. Um, so just watch out for that when it comes out. What date are you hearing? Because I'm hearing the 30th or not the 30th, but first couple of I weeks just, of October. I just signed up. Uh, they opened a website for it. I just signed up for it a couple of hours ago. The Wu Tang Nike website. Okay. So, um, yeah, to put in your phone number and you'll get notifications about the release. So I'll, uh, I'll definitely, let me not show my phone number on the part, but I'll definitely, uh, <laughs> send you the link. You, I, I'll send you that link right now. Yeah, I, I'm I'm time coding that because uh, your number was there hanging for a couple of seconds, and so I'm, I'm gonna blur it out. Um, but yeah, um, uh, yeah, that that that's the that's the discounts for this week. It's been a a crazy week, crazy crazy week full of information and and uh, a lot of releases, a lot of info coming into 2025 into the full time. But it's just pay attention um if you can't pay attention just tune into the pod simple as and we'll let you know as much information as we get pretty much yeah and if there's too much information i got a solution for that too you just go and get you one of these chrome do-rags <laughs> that way you can block out all the all the bad information and hearsay that's coming in you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a tinfoil hat like but it's it's anti-conspiracy where you know what I'm saying like when the rumors and the mock-ups and the, the and the conspiracies Filth. and all that come up it'll block Filth them out through, through the bullshit bro <laughs> <laughs> yo have you I, seen this bro I seen it already I, 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 yo bro it almost looks like a Jesus <laughs> Jesus right <ride>, bro <laughs> you too could have a chrome do-rag for forty five hundred dollars. This is the actual website with a pre oh, you can pre order. Oh, oh. Yeah. I did not check the price. Forty five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Four thousand five hundred dollars. This is oh, bro. I I yeah, I remember seeing this. This is not even the one that you can tie up. It's pre made to look like that. Mm-hmm. It's like a. It's like it's, it's, it's like a, a snapback. <laughs> it's a helmet. Is what it is. <laughs> what's it's what's a what's modern what's helmet, what's dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did Kenry say? Headshot for the year. <laughs> you better walk around like that. <laughs> Facts. Look, and they talking about one, one size fits most. How? How? Yo, you can't. Yo, 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 you can't. You can't. I, I, I will tell you. I tell you a quick story. I got, I got a um a Iron Man helmet measured up for my mate, right? Because it was his birthday a couple of years back. I had to measure his heads, heads circumference to right. get to make sure his head fits because it only go to a certain amount if you got a big head you ain't wearing that <laughs> that's what I'm saying one size fits most where <laughs> where well, hold on hold on did it say one size fits all one size fits most fits most <laughs> that's your bro you can't see them bro <laughs> Because they'll turn around to you on court and say, that's not for most, are you? You're not for most, are you? <laughs> You're doing the most. <laughs> Your head's They're definitely doing the most. Doing the most. <laughs> They're doing the most. Your 100%. head's definitely doing the most. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no lie about that. Your brain be braining too much. <laughs> <laughs> call it, bro. Call it, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> if you got 4,500 to spend, the blow on nothing. Just, just for the hell of it, yeah. They, they the pre-order is up now. Chrome do just, just Google Chrome do rag. Y'all gonna oh, have man. a good laugh. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> me and TJ both want y'all to have a great day, a great week, a great month, and a great rest of the year. We're in the fourth <sighs> quarter. Halloween coming up. The holiday season coming up. Hold your wallet tight. It's trying to run from you. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's trying to run. Especially with, yo, you, with these grown dudes. Yo, right? yo, your money's grown legs already. It's time to walk. <laughs> for sure. For sure. For sure. Cut the way I'm looking. Right. Oh, this going to be tight right here, boy. Hey. Oh, anyway, um, buy what you like. <laughs> Rock what you like. <laughs> don't believe the hype because the hype ain't real. And sneakers don't make you cool. You made the sneakers cool. <laughs> yeah, time I had too much fun this week, bro. <laughs> 
Let's go. Hey, peace out, man. Peace. <laughs> Where's the button? I can't even find the button. <laughs>